Hi, it's Dan from Penrith Solar Centre. This week's featured install, we're here in northwestern Sydney in Kellyville Ridge, New South Wales. The crew today is from Green Truck, led by team leader and CEC accredited electrician Bryce and his crew of Rory and Kobe. This is the second day of a two day install. <laughs> Yesterday on day one, the team ran all the cables and completed the switchboard work, as well as installed a Tesla Powerwall 2 and electric vehicle car charger, which gives the homeowner the power to produce and consume as much of their own energy as possible. The boys are installing 22 panels of Trina 440 watt N type solar panels, totaling 9.68 kilowatts, with of course powered by N phase IQ8 micro inverters and seamlessly tied together on all black Schletter racking. As the crew are gearing up for the installation of the panels, let's take a quick look at the solar design and recommendations we made for this client. This is a two story tiled roof home. We maximised each usable roof face on the upper storey. Starting with the north face with 10 panels for maximum generation, 4 on the west for late afternoon production, and the remaining 8 panels on the southern roof face. There are a number of obstacles on this roof, including a TV aerial and a vent pipe that we worked our design and installation around. The homeowner has fully electrified their home with a Tesla Powerwall battery and car charger. To do this, the cables were concealed up the cavity wall all the way to the upper storey roof space, where they ran across the home, then down the cavity wall of the first floor and into the garage roof space. Then it's a simple run down the external wall to the charging location for a neat and professional finish. Main switch essential supply controls these backed up circuits. So now no longer hitting the main switch is going to disconnect power because you're going to have the central circuit still running off the battery. You'll need to isolate the main switch essential circuits to be able to work on those power and light circuits. The, the iBoard as it houses the Envoy, which is the brains of the system, which allows the uh, Envoy to communicate with your app to allow you to see the statistics of your solar of each individual panel. This is the Tesla gateway. Basically that can, has the brains of the system for the Tesla. Um, pretty much everything is covered in here. We have the inverter supply breaker down in here. Uh, we also have another location where we can switch off the essential circuits. And we also have the breaker housing for the battery system. We also have a car charger on this job. So the breaker here is for the Tesla on the other side of the house near the garage, allowing us to isolate it. But the boys are ready to throw the panels. Let's get into it. Our trucks are purpose-built to throw panels directly from the back of the tray. This makes lighter work for the installers throwing and catching panels on the roof. Here the installation team have installed the Schletter racking and Enphase IQ8 AC microinverters. All cables are managed and tied to the rail neatly. The team are now fitting the waterproofing membranes to the roof tiles where the conduit has penetrated through the roof tile grinding tiles where necessary for penetrations and to make sure the tiles are seated properly for water tightness. The conduit is through the tile with the cable inside, then the second layer of sealant on top of the tile to ensure water tightness. The team are now plugging in the DC cable to the microinverter, adjusting the panel so that they are straight and level, then fixing the clamps off. To complete the perfect installation, we will always trim the rail to suit for a neat and clean finish. This is the Penrith Solar Centre Experience. <laughs>